Hey everyone, it's Dr. Morales again. Um, back at it for my weekly series of frequently asked questions related to plastic surgery. Um, again, I hope you learned something. Um, I get a lot of questions on a daily basis as both on uh, calls directly, I get them on social media, and I try to write them down and I'm just pounding through them. So just want you to hear from me and uh, my experience and my opinion. So take that as it is. But uh, my goal is to you know, give you a great outcome and a safe, quick recovery. So question of this week is, um, what's the difference between fat transfer uh, for breast augmentation versus implants for breast augmentation? Huge, huge, huge difference. Um, and I'm getting this question a lot more often. When people are coming in, I just want to do fat. I don't want to do implants. I, you know, her implants are bad and I'm scared of having foreign devices in my body. Um, you know, that's that's not something I'm gonna argue with you on. Um, I'll give you my professional recommendations and my experience. I'll give you the facts. I'm not here to convince you to have implants. I'm not here to convince you to have fat transfer. I, you know, do I make more money either way? I actually don't know. <laughs> Linda will probably be mad, but I just don't know. I don't deal with prices, that's, that's a Linda thing. My job is to take care of you and give you the best options that meet your needs and your, hopefully your expectations. Um, but I, I really focus on safety and realistic outcomes. I want you to remember that, realistic outcomes. So, just quick facts, you know, breast augmentation surgery is probably, I would say that, I think it's the number one in 2019, uh, cosmetic procedure in the United States. Uh, very safe, very high, out, high satisfaction uh, outcomes. Um, the shape and uh, control of the volume and shape of the breast is uh, very predictable. Um, we have great implant selections. We have hundreds of implant styles and sizes to choose from, depending on patient needs and desires. So, with that said, um, fat transfer um, is the another option that's kind of come more into play. And uh, it, it originally started in the reconstructive uh, aspect of plastic surgery. So, women most commonly have breast cancer and have had the breast tissue removed, and we as plastic surgery reconstruct the breast. And we use that with implants, we use that with you know soft tissue, and we reconstruct our breast shape. And it's never gonna look the exact same. We can get a pretty good outcome, but it never looks the same. I would say at some point, with or without implant reconstruction, there is some fat transfer required to improve the aesthetic outcomes as far as you know improving the contour regularities, improving little divots. And so fat transfer is basically doing liposuction somewhere, other part of your body will take the fat and we trans you know, transfer it into the area that you want it. Um, for the breast, Works not pretty good. Um, there is a limit. I'm gonna tell you that. And that's super important to understand. So breast tissue, for some reason, um, in my experience, you know, I trained at MD Anderson. I've done a lot of breast uh, reconstruction. Um, at MD Anderson and in my my home program at University of Texas. Um, and I've noticed, and I would also notice in the literature as well, that there's a maximum volume you can put in at one time before you start having problems associated to fat necrosis, which your fat dyes. You get cysts, you get oil cysts where the fat dyes and turns to oil balls. Those have to be removed. Fat necrosis turns into like a hard ball. It turns into a hard knot and those have to be removed. Um, there's a limit to fat transfer of the breast. The circulation about the breast, I'm not sure what it is, but it can only take so much. It's different than the butt. The butt tends to take a lot more volume. Breast, not so much. So. The better outcomes are, are done in stages. So for fat transfer, you wanna do this procedure in stages. You do more, normally do one, two, sometimes three um, serial grafting procedures. These are three separate procedures, sometimes five, it depends on the volume that you want, specifically for aesthetic breast volume with fat only. Can't emphasize enough. For breast augmentation with fat only, it's gonna take most patients two, three, sometimes five sessions spread over the course of a year to give you the same volume as you can get with an implant. So good demonstration of this. This is a sizer, okay? And it's very great because it's kind of shaped like a breast tissue. It's full at the bottom, has a tail. So this is the top, this, anyway. So this is 300 cc sizer, okay? This is about the, the volume I would put in a woman who wants breast augmentation with fat, okay? This is the maximum I would do, it's 300 cc's per side. Of this, usually about half of it survives. What does a half of this look like? It looks like this. So, it's 
a half. So of the 300 cc's, 150 cc's survives. How much is 150 cc's? It kind of looks like the insert of a push-up bra. It's about the same volume, about 125, 150 cc's, about the same. That's not a huge difference, okay? And that's not just in one spot of the breast. It's actually spread over the entire breast. So the noticeable augmentation from one fat transfer session is actually very minimal. Um, it, it's it's almost like, almost when you first do it, you're like, when you do surgery on it, you do it like, wow, that looks great. But I know what's gonna happen. You know, half of it doesn't survive. It just doesn't make it. And you don't get that same kind of volume enhancement that you see right on the table because there's this, the fat is just fat. It's just very soft. It has no structure. And that's a big difference is that with the implant, you have structure, you have a shape, you can control the shape because you have different styles of implants, different widths. You can really have a lot more creativity as far as the breast outcome. Fat, you don't. Fat is always soft. It's just, you have fuller, fatter breasts. That is reality. It's just fuller, fatter breasts. I can't emphasize them enough. To get that volume, um, let's say you do it three or four times, you get a volume, let's say, I don't know, 800, 500 cc's. 500 cc's of fat transfer. You've done it for a course of a year. You just have fuller, fatter breasts. There is no shape. You can't get that round fullness that most women want that you get implants. It's just basically you have a fuller, fatter breast. That's the reality of it. So the outcomes are dramatically different. You want a very natural breast, you want a very, very, very natural, you're getting all percent, 100% natural. It's only your fat. And you will have very natural premium breasts that are just fatter. A breast augmentation with implants, totally different look. You have options. You want to look very natural, there's an implant style for that. If you want to have a very augmented look, there's an implant style for that. If you should look a little more proportionate, an implant's a better option. And that's reality. And this is the talk that you will get very similarly when you just, just you want to have when you discuss it with me. You know, Linda will tell you, I will tell you, we'll show you these two things. We'll go over this again. So becoming more popularly requested. I understand it. You know, there's it but you have options. I want you be, to understand there's realistic out outcomes that can be attained with either, okay? I'm very honest with you. I want you happy, but I understand what you're getting into. You know, fat transfer, most women are gonna need like two or three sessions. That is just, that's the fact. To get 300 cc implants, which is a very small implant for most people, it's gonna take you two sessions. That's the guarantee. Um, so there's more surgery involved with fat transfer. Breast augmentation, it's, takes 45 minutes in and out you're back to work within four or five days pretty straightforward that transfer same thing takes about an hour hour and a half um, recovery is pretty much the same you gotta do it again it's gonna be like another three months after that and then you gotta do it again if you want more volume and then I've heard patients say well it doesn't look like you know, I want more fullness stuff it doesn't work like that fat has no structure you can't have something. it has no structure you can't control the shape as well as you can with an implant so Great question, huge debatable topic, and I uh, hope you learned something. This is a very, very important topic to discuss. So thank you for following us all the ways, and we'll see you next week.